The next activity I'd like to share with you aligns math and dance. Instead of an icebreaker or a discussion topic during math, like guess how many marbles in the jar, or estimate how far it takes us to walk to the lunchroom, or let's graph how many of us like chocolate ice cream, try dance the distance. This activity can be found in the accelerator within the second grade lesson pack. Although it was written for second grade standards, third grade classrooms could use this to bridge second grade learning to third grade. If you look at the standards alignment, students are being asked to estimate lengths and demonstrate movements, body patterning, and dance sequences that require moving through space in a variety of pathways. These standards are very appropriate for all grade levels. Let's take a closer look at the materials you're going to need for this activity. Tape, tape measure, pen and pencil, dance the distance recording sheet, dance the distance reflection. Begin this activity by asking the students to figure out what order the class would need to line up in if they were going tallest to shortest, except they have to do it from where they're sitting and only use what they know about each other. They can't correct or make changes, but they can attempt to get back on track based on where they are. At the end, ask them to reflect on how they did and what they would do differently next time. After a review of centimeters, inches, feet, and meters, move on to brainstorming different kinds of movement. Encourage them to use words like glide, hop, skip, bend, sway, twist. Finally, ask them to try doing a combination of two or three different movements together, which is called a sequence of movements. Next, move on to the main part of the activity. You're going to need as big a space as possible. This would be a great opportunity to, to collaborate with your physical education teachers or your recess monitors. Clearly define how the students will be moving from one side of the space to the other. Students are going to complete a sequence of movement laid out in the lesson plan with the goal of traveling the farthest. Their distance will be measured with masking or painter's tape and labeled with the student's name. Repeat until each student in the group has had a turn. Use the resource sheet. Group members will privately estimate the distance in pen and share and discuss with their group. Once estimates are complete, students will measure the actual distance with the tool of choice decided by the teacher. Students can then use the student reflection sheet. To close the lesson, see how accurate they were with their estimates. This is also a great time to ask, why would dancers need to be able to estimate the distance they're traveling? A couple of reasons are, they often have to move across stage in a certain amount of time to certain pieces of music, or they need to move in a certain way and retain sequences together. Now, let's think outside the box and see how we can adapt this activity. Do you need something more accessible? Complete this activity as a whole group and assist students with the measurement step or utilize a space with tiled floor that's easy to count. Need a way to extend this? Challenge groups that they can use the same three movements to show three different distances, or have students pull out different types of movement from a hat and give them a target distance to try to reach. Also, feel free to check out the suggested literature connections available for this lesson. Now, isn't that more fun and engaging and getting kids up and out of their seats than rather just asking them how much is in the jar?